I suppose most importantly, you and know, the safety aspect as exactly well. Exactly the safety aspect. People yeah. wandering about the yard. The yeah. last thing we want to do is it them. And yeah. both myself and Andrew have young kids, so anything we can do to improve visibility yeah. and improve safety, safety yeah. it's it's got to be a good it's thing. It's good, isn't it? It's yeah. got to be good, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome along to another review from us. This time we are having a good look and a good play with what they call Overview 360 degree camera technology. Now for those of you who are lucky enough to drive pickups, for example, that are a lot newer than mine, you may already be used to this type of technology. So for instance, when you pop it in reverse and you are manoeuvring about, it may come up on the dash with an overview of your pickup and what's around it. So to do that, it uses multiple cameras around the vehicle and then it combines all those camera images into one 360 overview image, hence the, hence the term overview camera technology. So that's what we've got to try out in this video. Now, the cameras in question, they have been kindly supplied by a local company to us called Vision Techniques. They are just based in Blackburn, but we'll tell you more about them as we go on. So to try out this overview 360 degree camera technology, we're going to try them out on this Italiangler. Which is, well, it just so happens, it's, uh, it's Andrew's here. This is, this is your telehandler, yeah, which is, it. what is it? It's a Merlot... 33.7, featuring a few of your videos already. I'm going to say, you've been in a few videos, you've done a review on this machine, yeah. and we thought, telehandler, it would be a perfect machine to try out this, uh, this camera technology. Yeah. Granted, we could have tried it pretty much on any machine, but I think, I mean, you'll agree yeah. that uh, the telehandler, it's a good candidate because... As we all know, there's plenty of blind, blind spots. spots. That's yeah. it, yeah. In particular, I mean, you just run through it. I mean, the main one is... Down the bonnet side, isn't it? Your right-hand side, other side, it, boom. And then you've got your back corner as well, which you can't see a great deal of. Well, that's so. it, particularly with these big yeah. exhausts that pop up in yeah. the back corners. You can't see a lot. Now, yeah. obviously, that's going to vary a lot from telehandler to telehandler and various models, depending if it's a small one or a big one. But pretty much, invariably, when you're using yeah. this machine, when that boom's part way up... Yeah. You're blind, aren't you? Yeah, you yeah. can't see nothing no, down no. that far side. No, you can't it. see nothing over the over your right hand shoulder. No, right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now we have tried telehandlers in the past, don't we? That yeah. have factory fitted cameras on them. That's it. And yeah. some of them are quite good, aren't some they? Of them are all right. Like yeah. that Manny two one yeah. that we tried out. Yeah. That was quite good. It had a camera looking down the side, and it had where there was the other one. It was on the back, back. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. And that was quite good. Yeah. But a lot of the other ones that we've we've seen and tried yeah. out, they are very grainy, and it's a bit like <laughs> really. Well, it's like looking through a dish full of porridge in it trying to look where you're going it, you might as well not have camera there so like we said this is your machine now i'm pretty sure you're used to your machine yeah, yeah. you're used to its dimensions yeah. and which bits stick out i think it's fair to say that anything that can be done to avoid i mean avoid you hitting stuff well yeah and damaging the machine yeah which could cost i mean just that just that bonnet alone, I mean, what's that? that's going to cost a few. Well, but if you, you damage that is, bonnet, yeah, yeah. Uh, or worse on this machine, or anything you can do to avoid hitting buildings yeah, and well, damaging them, which again, it, it all adds up, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, Chris, it does, yeah. Downtime and all that lot. Yeah. I suppose most importantly, you well, know. The safety aspect as exactly well. Exactly, the safety aspect. People yeah. wandering about the yard. The yeah. last thing we want to do is hit them. And yeah. Both myself and Andrew have young kids. Yeah. Now, most of the time, we know where they are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they you know, they are we, a little bit feral from time they to time. Can, they can go feral. One can <laughs> escape every now and again. So, I mean, you know, heaven forbid, that yeah. would be the last thing yeah. we wanted yeah, to yeah. do was hit one of them. Yeah. So anything we can do to improve visibility yeah. and, and improve safety, safety yeah. it's, it's got to be a good it's thing. It's good, isn't it? It's yeah. got to be good, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. 
So, to see if the job can be improved, we've got these cameras off uh, Vision Techniques. Now, Vision Techniques, they're no stranger to this. They've been around a good number of years now. They operate and work in multiple industries, uh, including construction and mining, quarrying, waste materials handling, you name it, they're working it. And in a lot of those industries, it is pretty much mandatory yeah. to have cameras yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you can see site workers and all that lot. So there you go, ladies and gents. We've got these cameras to uh, try out and that is exactly what we're going to do right now. Right, Andrew, fire it up. Yeah. And we'll see what we've got and see what you've learned over the last uh, month using this, uh, this camera system. So first bit is pretty cool to yeah. kick off. That's it, yeah. It uh, wakes up and then it gives you a nice light, gives you a walk round. Well, that's uh, it, it gives like a virtual walk around of the machine before it does anything else. That's it. So, you, you know, if you've jumped on your machine and you just give it a check round inside, and then you fire that up and you, well, someone come, you know, someone snuck up on well, me. Well, that's it. As you were getting on the machine, it was clear around yeah. you, but you don't know who's just snuck up. I mean, you well, can see it. my big fat yeah. moon head there. Yeah. But anyone, I mean, as we'll see here, if I'm back here, yeah, it comes up comes up with a pedestrian warning. That's it. So it's got the pedestrian warning system on there, which is a really good thing because when we were when we were filming um, earlier on, that warning was coming up before I could even see you. You knew where I was yeah, yeah. at all yeah, times. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. No, it <laughs> I'm was. like one of those feral children that we have. I do shout out my box every now and again. So it does have. I mean, it's got a massive list of features, which, uh, I mean, Vision Techniques has kindly sent me the list. So I'm just going to run through these and see what you think of it as we're running through. I mean, for a start off, as we just mentioned before, it's got this 220 degree wide angle cameras so like I said, on each one. Yeah, and you, like, like we've just seen, the cameras aren't all in one square area. They're, they're dotted, you know, one's at front corner, one's on the back, and then you've got yeah. two based on cameras. Well, that's it, looking at that, you won't think the cameras are unevenly no, spaced. No, that's it. You, you can, it adds up to a very good picture, yeah, doesn't it? You can scroll around on this 3, 3D view and have a right good play around. It's, you know, you could uh, have it set up how you wanted that, right? Yeah. That's it. And that, uh, that monitor there, uh, I think, uh, looking at this, you can get that in 7 inch or 10 inch. That's the 7 inch on this, which is, I mean, I would say it's a good size for telehandler. It, it is for a telehandler. You know, your cab's not over big on a telehandler. It fits in there without obstructing anything else, you know, it, and it's a nice, well, you can see it's a, a bloody good clear picture. It's a very right? good picture. Yeah. I think that's one of the things that struck us both. Yes. How one clear. of the standout things is yeah. it's just the really good picture and how clear it really is yeah. especially as we mentioned before compared to some of these yeah. other yeah. factory yeah. fit systems yeah. which are grainy as hell yeah. uh, and as you are demonstrating now I mean the, the image you can use it like an iPhone yeah. it's like pinch and that's zoom it. And yeah. that's it zoom so out, zoom in you wonder what that's over there yeah, you can, uh, yeah no it's really good and, and it's not Krypton factory to drive either no, you, 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 you know that was a 